Are you doing a TikTok? I'm doing a YouTube video. Okay, period. <laughs> hey, booze. So I am doing the letting the person in front of me decide what I eat for 24 hours. It is actually early afternoon and I just started my day late. I was doing some stuff in the house and everyone's been requesting 24 hour challenges for me. One, two, it's Halloween. So I wanted a reason to dress up anyway. And three, there's finally a challenge on YouTube. I feel like YouTube has been so dry. And as a creator, I've been so creatively stunted. It's not even funny. Like I I remember there were trends like every other week and I loved taking a trend and putting like my own little twist to it. So the only twist that I have in this video is I'm going to take a little nail break after my stop at Duncan to get my nails done. I've had these nails on for two weeks and also this is like a little ode to my friendship with one of the employees at this Duncan. So I go through this Duncan all the time and my friend always has the best nails we formed like a friendship because I'm always complimenting her nails and she's complimenting my outfits and I have waited forever to go to her nail tech and that's exactly who I'm going to after I hit up this Duncan so without further ado let's go into the Duncan drive-thru and I'm dressed up like a little like 50s pink lady today because it's Halloween so I'm like I just want to like dress up you know also guys, I don't have a fancy car tripod. Uh, you guys are just hanging out on my dashboard. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I just have what the person in front of me ordered? What's the person in front of you ordered? Yeah. Okay. Right, else? that's it. You can pull Thank you. I feel like they have to know this trend. So I did leave the questions tab open on my Instagram story today because I figured if I'm gonna be eating, like going through drive throughs and eating and stuff, I figured like I'm gonna answer some questions because I feel like I haven't done a QA and a in quite some time. <gasps> it's my friend, it's my friend, <gasps> it's my friend. Hello, oh, hi. You're so pretty. Thank you. Guess where I'm going? Where are you going? I'm going to your nail tech oh, right she now. Told me about <laughs> really? It. I'm yeah. so excited. Let me see your nails. <gasps> oh my I god. Know. Okay. Word. Yeah, I want to do like, long, skinny coming. little thing. Yeah. Like, so I'm on my way right now, so I figured I would go get Duncan for me. I'm actually filming right now. I'm actually working. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So I'm doing like that drive-through challenge. Oh, yeah. good for you. It's Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Wait, that's perfect. Oh, I'm so I could use that. There you go. It'll be 455. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm excited to see I'm you. I'm so excited. Today. I'll come through the drive through Are you here tomorrow? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, I'll come through the drive through yeah. and show you. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Have a great day you tonight. too. Bye. Bye. The whole staff at this Duncan on 512 is like the sweetest, guys so sweet mm. Mm, this is so good ah i needed this today i filmed a whole tiktok vlog a whole fancy vlog for tiktok getting ready in this glam I went to answer the door, forgot to save it to my drafts, and TikTok like exited out when I answered my door, and it deleted. I don't know how, but my get ready with me TikTok deleted. I don't know. I'm just, whoa, that minivan just flew by. I'm accepting that everything happens for a reason. I was really stressed out, but it is what it is. These are my nails now, and I'm about to head to my nail appointment, so for my lunch, you guys are going to see my new nails. I just got out of my nail appointment. This is what my nails look like. Is it gonna focus? There's bows, they're just so cute. She did such a good job. Tipsy nails, everyone. I'm gonna leave her at right here. If you guys are in the area and interested, I am hungry for an actual meal now, so we're gonna go to McDonald's and see what someone has to order for me. I'll just order whatever the person in front of me ordered. Sure. Did they order any drinks? Yeah, just the same exact order.
$15. Oh my god, guys. It's a bunch of Happy Meals. There's like a Halloween treat or something I saw on the receipt. $15 at McDonald's. No. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. It's Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Thank you. You're Where am I gonna put the two sodas? I have a pumpkin spice latte in my thing. Thank you. Apple juice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got two Happy Meals, okay? And I'm gonna eat this Happy Meal to myself. Ooh. I got McNuggets. Mmm. Mmm. You guys can see the sun's going down, but it's like winter now, so the sun's going down rather early. And, you know, nail appointments take like an hour or two hours, so it's like 6 p.m. So for my dinner, I'm gonna have Taco Bell. So this is essentially like my lunch and Duncan was my breakfast. Mmm. So good. I love my new nails. Such a good job. I'm gonna do this little Q&A before it gets super dark out. I feel like it's gonna be really dark when I go to Taco Bell. What are you doing for Gaboween? So, last year was my first year I didn't have a Gaboween party. I went to LA for Halloween and I went to events. Um, I had a Botox Halloween party and I called it Botox and it ended up turning into a Gaboween unintentionally. So this will be my first year not having like a little at-home DJ thing. Like, I don't know. So this is gonna be my first year not having a thing at my house. That was crazy last year. My friend who is an injector, we had planned that she would like inject my friends and I and multiple friends started hearing about this like Botox party and like would just text me and be like, hey, can I come? I heard you're having a Botox party, can I come? And then at that point, I was like, let me hire a cater, let me get a DJ, and then I just turned into, like, this thing, then I got booze, and, like, people, my friends who were posting there were hashtagging Gaboween, then friends who, like, weren't invited saw it, and were like, oh my god, I was not invited to Gaboween, but it wasn't Gaboween, it was just, like, a cosmetic procedure party, it was just a whole thing, so, I'm just like, I don't know. So, my plans for Halloween this year, or for Gaboween, my friends and I are staying in New York City, and we have, like, five events booked, so we're all gonna, like, dress up together and go to these events together, and one of the events is just, like, so exciting, it's, like, on Sunday, and I'm just, like, I'm excited to show you guys. I have, like, five Halloween costumes planned, but... I have to finish ordering accessories on Amazon tonight to make sure they come in on time. Do you have any tips on how to become more girly and fancy? Love your aesthetic. Um, hmm. Thank you for loving my aesthetic, by the way, but my advice is if you're naturally girly, it will come naturally. And if you're not naturally girly, it's going to take like going on Pinterest, looking at mood boards, making boards for like 
what you want your bedroom to look like, make a whole board for that. What you want your hair to look like, make a whole board for that. What do you want your nighttime routine to look like, make a whole board for that. Like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of my life has been manifested through Pinterest. Like, I have things and do things that I never in a million years would have imagined having or doing or being. And it all started with Pinterest, like making mood boards. I was unintentionally like making those vision boards that people do when they manifest things. So honestly, Pinterest, yeah. Hi, Princess Gab, what are some things you do to aid anxiety and ADHD? So for my anxiety, I like, life has so many stressors, like it's made to be stressful, but it's your perspective to your problems that can make or break your day. So the only thing you can control is your reaction to things. So my advice is try not to internalize everything and react positively because you can control that. You can control your reaction. I'm gonna read you my favorite quote. Happiness is not the absence of problems, it's the ability to deal with them. And also pretend that today is a bonus day and you weren't guaranteed today. What would you do? How would you feel? Like just gratitude, always gratitude. So that's that's how I deal with my anxiety. And for ADHD, I am not a doctor, but this is, I don't know if this is good or bad advice, but tea, like tea really helps calm me and helps me focus. Like, I don't know, tea, tea, I love tea. Okay, let's go to Taco Bell. Okay, Taco Bell time. The sunset is so beautiful today. Okay, Taco Bell lighting. Everyone who does these 24 hour drive through videos, it's always sunny out. So yeah, I feel weird that it's night. So how are you today? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. What can I get for you today? Um, Could I have whatever the person in front of me ordered? Do you, do you want the same exact thing? Yeah. Are you doing a TikTok? I'm doing a YouTube video. Okay, period. <laughs> okay, so I can't do the person right in front of you because they've ordered mobile, but I can do the one in front of them. Okay. Is that okay? Word, that works, yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. The total for that one is going to be eleven ninety eight. Okay, thank you. Yep. My hands are so sticky. Here's more of an up close of my nails. Now that it's dark out, you might be able to see it better. They're little bows. All my costumes are like girly-ish for Halloween, so it like goes. So while we're waiting, I'm gonna answer another question from Instagram. Okay, so the next question is, do you think you and Christine will ever pursue getting your designs featured at Fashion Week? So I have a lot of fashion designers that follow me on Instagram that I've gone to their show before. And um, they like comment on, on all my like reels and posts about my clothing with Christine. So I was thinking about reaching out to one of them about fashion week, but I'm working on it. I'm working on getting to that level with fashion. Do you have a carrier for the soda? Unfortunately, I do not. Thank you, hello. What's your YouTube channel so I can subscribe? It's Fancy Vlogs by Gap. Thank you, you too. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Oh, they're all so sweet. I get so awkward, I feel like. I feel like I'm such an awkward person when I talk to people I don't know. So I was doing as best as I could with the drinks. You guys need to see my drink setup right here. There's like apple juices, there's like Happy Meals, there's Drink City over here. Okay, so I'm using my phone as a flashlight, but I just want to show you guys everything that came in my box. I unwrapped everything. It's a lot. So I got cheese sauce. I got these french fries. I do not like Taco Bell french fries. Purely because they're just not McDonald's. What is, why is this like, they're like red? Wait. I could tell there's like an intentional seasoning, like, like a spicy Doritos seasoning or something, but... I don't taste it, I just taste bad fries. Then I got this like big burrito, a bean burrito. Mmm, really good. Then I got a soft beef taco. 
Then I got a chicken chalupa. And then I got a Doritos Locos Taco. This one, this is so good. Mm. This is what I would have ordered myself. It's also gluten free. And everything else isn't gluten free. I'm gluten intolerant, so I try not to eat gluten at all, but when I do eat it, I eat it in small doses. I utilized my McNuggets as my gluten meal today. I haven't done a gluten meal in a little bit, but my stomach's probably gonna be a little upset, but it's not as bad as if I eat all those gluten items, I'd be really sick. And there's probably gluten in this item, but I'm just gonna eat a fry for the sake of showing you I'm having one in the cheese. Mm. I've been having a lot of Diet Coke today. And then to close off this video, I'm gonna answer the last question. So everybody asks me always, how are you doing really? How are you really doing? How are you mentally doing? And I don't know if I just give off the energy of like not happy or I don't know if that's just something you're curious about always, but I feel like ever since, I don't know if this is me projecting, but ever since my past relationship ended when I opened my uh, story questions for a Q and A. Everyone kind of asks how I'm doing, how I'm doing mentally. And first of all, I don't want you guys to be worried about me. Second of all, I'm really good. Like overall, right now, like I am so good. But if you're asking how I'm doing right now, like in general, just today, I'll tell you. Like there are some stressful events that happened today, and I, you know, bad things come in three. So the first thing that happened was I filmed a whole thing and then it got deleted. And then the second thing that happened was one of my all time favorite vintage items ripped. Like it literally just randomly ripped. I was wearing it and it just like ripped and just fell apart. So that really upset me and I was thinking about that all day today. And then after my nail appointment, when I was driving to McDonald's, I had a call with my team, you know, long story short. Um, I don't know if I say this in this vlog, but a brand that I've recently worked with blocked me on Instagram. I just stumbled upon their Instagram while I was getting my nails done and I noticed like it wasn't popping up and then I looked up the brand's name on Google and I looked up their at and then I clicked on their Instagram from Google and then it brought me to Instagram and it brought up their page and it looked very like like deleted. It looked like a ghost Instagram with the same at and the follow button was blue. So I went to hit follow. I was like, maybe they went private and then it just wouldn't let me follow. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I reached out to my team. My manager was like, oh, it must be someone on their social team. Like this is odd. I've never seen this happen before. So then I like internalized that and I knew I had a video to continue filming for you guys. I've had a really hard time opening up this year, but I thought I would be fake if I didn't let you know that this is the other side of influencer life and this stuff, I guess, happens. I don't know. This industry is weird and I don't know what that could have been. I don't know why, but um, everything on my end was completed. Everything was delivered and it's just... It's weird. I don't know. I don't like that energy. Yeah, if, the, if there's any like sad demeanor in my like overall being since like Duncan, literally the rest of the video, like McDonald's and Taco Bell and all the in between, it's because I've been like, what? I've been like so confused and I don't, I don't know. I have so much food in my car. I'm going to bring it home. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you didn't enjoy it because criticism you know but I love you guys so much and I'm preparing a whole Halloween vlog for you guys I'm gonna take you guys to the city with me I'm really excited about that I'm excited for you guys to see my costumes I feel really good just like opening up to you guys about certain things like this because I feel like I never do anymore but you guys are like my friends and I just I want to vent to you that's you know it's that FaceTime vibe we're sitting in the car and I'm telling you about these things that happened to me today I love you guys so much and yeah I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog. Also, for real, please let me know if, how you like this video. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. Mwah. Love you.